I'd like to tell you a story about a little bear who lives just over the hills in a neighborhood not too far from your own. His name is Glenn, and he lives right inside of this purple house. One day, Glenn was getting dressed to play outside. Oh, circles! Glenn said as he admired his shorts. Glenn loved to wear his striped shirt, too. Oh, blue and yellow, he said. And most of all, Glenn loved to wear his diaper. My diaper, my diaper! Glenn said with a big, happy smile. When Mommy changed his diaper, she always sang a song. This time, she sang the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. When Glenn was all dressed, He picked out a few toys and headed out to the backyard. I'm going to go play, Glenn said. Glenn loved to play in his backyard sandbox. There was one thing he loved even more. Glenn loved to play in his sandbox with Sophie. Not only was Sophie his next door neighbor, she was also his very best friend. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Glenn. Sophie poured some sand into Glenn's bucket. Was the sound the sand made? Guess what, Sophie? said Glenn. I can count to five. Oh, up to five? she asked, and Glenn began to count. One, two, three, four, um, four, um. They both shouted out together. They did it together. Glenn and Sophie thought this was very funny. <laughs> Laughed Glenn. <laughs> and they laughed and played in the sandbox all day long. After a long day of playing outside, Glenn was ready for bed. He let out a great big yawn. Glenn was really sleepy. Good night, said Mommy. Good night, said Daddy. And Glenn snuggled with his favorite toy bulldozer, closed his eyes, and fell fast asleep. The next morning, when Daddy came in to wake up Glenn, he was already sitting up, ready to start his day.
Hi, Daddy. I'm up, said Glenn. Good morning, Glenn, said Daddy. Are you ready for a new diaper? Oh, boy. Diaper, diaper, Glenn shouted. Hmm, said Daddy. I bought new diapers yesterday, and now I can't remember where I put them. No diapers, said Glenn. This didn't sound good. Daddy thought to himself, maybe I put the diapers on top of the shelf. Uh-oh, said Glenn. Well, maybe I put them under the bed, said Daddy. Wait a minute, said Daddy. I just remembered where I put them, in the closet. Glenn sure was happy to find his diapers. Yay, diapers for me! Glenn liked the way his daddy put on his diaper. He made it seem like a game. Glenn couldn't stop laughing. Daddy's funny! Wearing his fresh new diaper and his favorite polka dot shorts and striped shirt, Glenn went outside to play with his best friend. Glenn and Sophie met at their favorite spot, the sandbox in the backyard. Hi, Sophie, said Glenn. Hi, Glenn, said Sophie. Sophie had a big grin on her face because this time she had something to tell Glenn. I'm a big girl, said Sophie. I'm wearing big girl underpants. Wow, you are a big girl. Sophie couldn't stop smiling from ear to ear. Glenn and Sophie kept playing in the sandbox. But Glenn couldn't stop thinking that maybe he wanted to wear underpants too. Glenn, Mommy, and Daddy ate lunch together. But it didn't look like Glenn was eating his sandwich, even though it was his favorite tuna fish. Are you okay? asked Mommy. Sophie wears underpants, said Glenn. Oh my, said Daddy. That's a big step. Glenn hugged his mommy's leg. I want to wear underpants too, he said. 
That's wonderful, son, said Daddy. That is wonderful, said Mommy. I better go out and buy you some big boy underpants. Glenn was so happy. He bounced up in the air and said, Woohoo! His mommy was going to the store, and when she came home, she was going to bring him a new pair of underpants. Glenn began to wonder what his new underpants might look like. The possibilities were endless. Think of all the possibilities. What wondrous under his pants will mommy buy for me? It's fun to guess. Oh, what will they be? I can't wait to see. Will there be baby birds that go tweet tweet or circus clowns with sunny feet? Red, blue, and green balloons or yellow suns and orange moons? Lollipops and ice cream cones or elephants who play trombone? Glenn couldn't wait to see what his new underpants really looked like. Oh, oh, can I see them, Mommy? Asked Glenn. Hmm, Glenn didn't understand. Those aren't underpants, said Glenn. But then Mommy explained. If you're going to wear underpants like a big boy, then you have to learn how to use this potty like a big boy. Okay, Mommy, said Glenn. I can learn I'm a big boy. Mommy and Daddy could tell by Glenn's eager smile that he was ready to learn how to use the potty. I think you're ready to learn right now, said Daddy, and Mommy agreed. Then I guess you're ready to try on your new underpants too, she said. Glenn jumped in the air with joy. His underpants were even better than he had imagined. Glenn wanted to put them on all by himself. Glenn couldn't wait to put on his new underpants. Uh-oh, said Glenn. <sighs> Oops, Glenn said with a sigh. Maybe we can help. After all, it is your first time, said Mommy. That made Glenn feel much better. Glenn couldn't be happier to be wearing his new underpants. Yay for me! I did it! Glenn said with a big, wide smile.
Uh-oh, said Glenn. I have to go wee-wee. Glenn was a bit scared, but his mommy and daddy took him into the bathroom and showed him how to use his new potty. Sitting on the potty was easy because mommy and daddy sat nearby. I can't go, said Glenn. Don't worry, said daddy. I'll read you a book. Sometimes that helps me. So Daddy began to read Glenn a story. Once upon a time, there was a hippo named Arnold who didn't want to swim in the river. Arnold liked to swim, but he thought the river was too cold. When he touched his toe to the water, it made him shiver. Arr. Then one day, Arnold decided to wear his mittens and his earmuffs in the river. Oh, hold on, yelled Glenn. Uh, I'm going, I'm going wee wee in the potty. Oh Glenn, we're so proud of you, said mommy. Yes we are. You're a really big boy, said Daddy. This made Glenn feel very proud of himself. I know that this will be the day that I'll hear the trumpets play. Toot, toot, toot. Oh, I know that you will shout her way when you hear the people say. Can I flush by myself? asked Glenn. And Mommy and Daddy both gave a big thumbs up. You sure can, they said. Glenn took a deep breath and yelled, Here I go, flush! Swoosh! And the water spun in circles around and around and around until all the water drained into the toilet. Glenn marched right into his bedroom and put on his favorite orange polka dot shorts and yellow and blue striped shirt. Then he marched right into the kitchen where Mommy was talking to Grandma. Guess what, Grandma, said Mommy. No more diapers for Glenn. He's wearing big boy underpants and he can use the potty all by himself. Glenn was so excited, he could hardly wait to tell Sophie his good news. Hi, Sophie, said Glenn. I'm wearing underpants, too. Yeah, we both wear underpants, said Sophie. Yes, we do, agreed Glenn. And they gave each other a great big hug to celebrate. I'm a big girl, said Sophie. 
And I'm a big boy, said Gwen. And from that day on, Glenn always wore his underpants and used the potty. And after a while, he didn't even need his daddy to read him a story while he sat on the potty. And of course, Glenn always got to do the best part all by himself. Flush! Hi, I hope you liked the story. Are you gonna wear underpants and use the potty like Glenn does? You'll try? That's super! Hey, I have an idea that might help you. Let's sing some songs with Glenn. If you don't wanna sing, you can stand up and dance with him. That might be fun too. Will you join us? Okay, here we go! Underest, underest pants will mommy buy for me? It's fun to guess. Oh, what will they be? I can't wait to see. Will there be baby birds that go tweet tweet or circus clowns with funny feet? Red, blue, and green balloons or yellow suns and orange moons? Lollipops and ice cream cones or elephants who play trombones? Or maybe they'll have horses.
made me feel so 